Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back, got you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs and my grown extended family, just thank you for the love and support. You're supporting me and you're, you know, you're bettering yourself and seeing yourself in a positive light, which, you know, sometimes it can be hard to do with all the craziness we have that, you know, comes in and out of our lives. So, you know, much blessings to you and much love as well so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell you know especially if you want to want, want to know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hand you towards positive direction and also if the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes and you would love to share that with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again, thank you so much for the love and light and blessings and the good vibes you send me each and every day. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Let me turn this down. I'm kind of loud. Um, the meditation music I'm actually listening to today, which is so beautiful, is called Music of Physical and Spiritual Healing, Flame of Violet Light. And I'll post that link in the description box below. I need to go ahead and do my violet flame prayer. Those are really good, you know. If you need that extra protection and the extra boost, the energy is always really good to go ahead and do the violet flame prayer. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Okas, remember life is like a puzzle. You know, I was uh, telling y'all a couple of days ago, I was on Facebook and I love watching motivational videos. You know, there's so many people that, you know, are doing those nowadays, like not just on Facebook, but, you know, they're doing it on regular social media as well. And um, I had to turn it down a little bit. But, um, you know, I love to listen to positive things, you know, especially when you, you know, you've got a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, I always tell people, you know, Feel the love, you know, look for things that enhances you or look at things in a positive way. Because sometimes you can be going through so much, it can be hard to actually, you know, deal with things. So when I was watching this get this guy named, um, what's his name, Jay Shaty, I think that's how he says his name. I don't want to pronounce his name wrong because it's like, it sounds like you're saying the S-H-I-T word. So I said, I'm just not going to say that, but uh, I hope that's how he pronounces his name. But he was talking about, you know, uh, the life is like a puzzle. And you know, it really is because it's just like, when well, you know you're heading towards a goal, I don't really like saying goals, but you're heading towards things that you really truly want in life. And, you know, there's things that you want to do to better yourself, you know, start a career up. Because there's sometimes we'll be stuck in a job and it's just a job. Like, you'd be praying like, oh, God, do I have to go to this job today? You know, you never should be somewhere where um, you drag going. You know, I feel that way all in, when it comes to anything. You know, if you feel that way, and there are some people that will... You know, I've gotten in touch with Ross and I lost my job or whatever and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, you know, and I'll tell them, you know, I'm going to ask you this question. Did you love that job? You know, were you, were you comfortable about it? Were you, you know, you felt good by going to it every day? And I'm like, no. I said, that's the reason why you're not at it no more. Because they knew if God wanted to wrestle something up for you, you would have still been stuck there complaining. But when we're heading towards things, we have to live in the now. You know, I know it's hard. Sometimes I even get suckered into it time, you know, because I'll have visions or I don't know if it's something in my conscious, subconscious is making me think about things that's going on. So it's just like, I don't know, it could be a twin flame thing or whatever. But, you know, you have to take everything day by day I try not to look into the future too hard because when you do you get anxious you know because there's sometimes I'm just like oh I'm ready to do this I'm ready to do that whatever whatever and I get aggravated because things are not moving at my pace divine you have to always know that divine timing just live in the now knowing okay you put it out to the universe I want to do this and this and this and that um, and just leave that there and you know if you're working towards that you're doing different things in your life to apply that towards where you want to go, you know that, you know, God or 
uh, the divine source or spirit guides are going to rearrange things for you for these things to happen. And that's why I said I always love mentoring people or wanted to be a motivational speaker towards anybody that's going through things to make them, you know, I tell people about what happened to my me and my life and letting people know you can go through the tragic things. You can go through the most tragic things, but you know, you don't want to constantly keep on saying, oh, this happened to me, this happened to me, this happened to me, play the victim role. Because there's times when I first found out about this, all the situations I went through, I was a victim of the situation and I played victim. But it's just like, you know what, when you allow yourself to cut off from the people that brought you so much trauma, so much heartache, you know, I, it took me a lot to forgive these people. You know, I used to be scared to talk about old people putting spells on me. I had people put spells on me. I had people send me things you know, to put spells on me, and I can feel the vibration coming through, and I would just chuck it in the trash, like, oh, no, you did not, I know you didn't do this to me, and you know, it used to piss me off, because these people know I never did nothing to them, but just because I was going towards something really big, they wanted to try to block that, so it's just like, I said, you know, I just put in, you know, I protection from the universe you know don't allow these people to get towards me you know people were like oh Rosalind I feel this dark energy towards you I say yeah I know I got a lot of enemies but I don't care you know I know I'm protected you know um so I just try not to look into the future you know it's just like when you you, you know if you you like to do puzzles I used to do, love to do puzzles when I was little but you will get frustrated if you're trying to just try to fit everything in and it's not fitting right you know and you're trying to hurry up and make this because it has like a thousand pieces or a hundred pieces or whatever and you have to be able to analyze it you know saying okay this this piece goes here or this piece goes up there you know you can't really try to count all the pieces up and try to fit them in one place you have to do it one place at a time so it's just like when we look at our life we can't keep dwelling on the past because if you keep dwelling on the past it's going to mess your future up if you look too far in the future of trying so hard to get there and you get frustrated because you're not there that's going to mess it up too so you have to just take everything day by day and you know there's sometimes it's hard to do that especially if you know you're going towards something big and something great trust me I know <laughs> so it's just like you know I love what I do I know if I'm along my way God knows my heart God knows my situation divine knows my situation and they always just say just be patient I'm a Taurus <laughs> you know I got Taurus and it's like sunset moon rising I got you know Libra I got Leo I got Scorpio um, I got Capricorn, I, I'm, you know, I'm just all these different things. So my, my balance is all over the place. So it's like, especially with Tauruses, we have no patience. We're stubborn, bullheaded, <laughs> go through things. You can't tell us nothing. But, you know, I said, I love what I do. I love that I'm helping people along the way, pe giving people that understanding or that peace of mind to know, yes, you're that special person, but these are the reason why you're going through things you're going through. Or like, they're telling me, Rosalyn, I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to start my own channel. I give people that positive input. You know, go ahead. You know, I got your back. If you need any help with anything, how you do things, you know, I tell them you have to be consistent about your, your doing thing, what you're doing. You know, do you know what kind of content or what things you're going to be doing in channels? Because there's so many channels I'm subscribed to. There's people, like I do my meditation, I'm subscribed with people that do meditation. You know, I, I'm blessing, they're blessing me by allowing me to use these videos, but I'm also blessing them to put their link on there the same, you know, the same way, and, you know, sending people towards their way, I always tell y'all about these, these meditations I use, and say, hey, you know, um, this is the meditation I use, why don't you go ahead and um, go towards that part, you know, go towards that channel because they have beautiful meditation or there's ones that I see to do a lot of mukbangs. I can't do that if I'm hungry. So I, I try not to do that or people are showing um, different ways to do things, you know, I do motivational uh, speakers towards other people um, that I listen to that, you know, started me off you know, knowing what I was doing, what I was getting into that motivated me to start doing my own channel. So it's just like where it take one day at a time don't be so hard on yourself don't be trying to rush to get to the finish line because you're it's just like you know your life is like a book or like a movie you don't want to fast forward everything unless it's the commercials <laughs> you know jump 
jump to try to get your towards the middle and you were already trying to jump towards the end but you're going to miss all the chapters in between you might there's something you might miss out on there's something you might not learn and you're trying to rush to get towards that ending you might mess yourself up and you know might not have a future in that situation no more so it's just take things day by day be patient knowing there's things that happen i trust me i know being patient is like not one of my good my good qualities <laughs> i'll tell y'all real quick it is not i'm not gonna say i'm a victim to it but i'm suspect to that real quick because i'm like dang i want my stuff right now i would like that microwave a blessing but you know usually if you get a microwave blessing like it is with fast food you know you might want you know a taco bell or burger king or something like that but next thing you know 10 20 minutes later or an hour later you're hungry again so it's just like that's just like blessings you, you you want your things to come to you so you are bound to that you know you're able to you know get fruitful blessings off of that to where it can last for you you know being able to you know get these things and enjoy them and learning so much you can bring towards that blessing as well so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love and light to everybody. And many blessings are coming your way. I send out uplifting blessings, comforting blessings, and lifetime abundance. And let me see who am I going to give my post notification shout out to today. Deep thought here and now. Much love to you and much love to your channel as well. And I will see y'all later. Be safe, be responsible. Everything you do, sound as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are forever loved, truly blessed, and highly favored. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see y'all in my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild. Oh, yeah, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share as well. Bye. <laughs>